The Secret Society of the Midnight Watchers Chapter 1 The New Kid It was the first day of school, and 16-year-old, Alex had just moved to a new town. He had always been the new kid at school and was used to being the outsider. As he walked into the classroom, he was greeted with curious stares from his new classmates. He felt nervous, but determined to make a good impression. As the teacher introduced him to the class, Alex noticed a group of students in the back of the room, whispering and exchanging glances. He couldn't help but feel a sense of intrigue and curiosity about them. Who were they? What were they talking about? The day passed by quickly, and Alex found himself lost in thought about the mysterious group of students. He decided to ask around and see if anyone knew anything about them. Chapter 2 The Secret Society After school, Alex approached a friendly-looking girl and asked about the group of students he had noticed in class. The girl smiled and whispered, They're the Midnight Watchers. Alex was intrigued. He had never heard of such a group before. The girl noticed his interest and told him to meet her at the town square at midnight. As the clock struck 12, Alex found himself standing in the deserted town square, wondering if he had made a mistake. Suddenly, he heard footsteps approaching. It was the girl from school, and she was leading him towards a hidden door. As they entered, Alex found himself in a dimly lit room with a group of teenagers gathered around a large table. They all wore black robes and had serious expressions on their faces. The girl introduced Alex to the group and explained that they were the Midnight Watchers, a secret society dedicated to protecting their town from supernatural threats. Chapter 3 The First Mission Alex was both shocked and excited by what he had just heard. He had always been interested in the supernatural and couldn't believe, couldn't believe that he had stumbled upon a group of teenagers who shared his passion. The group explained that they had received a message about a ghost haunting an old abandoned mansion on the outskirts of town. They had been investigating the mansion for weeks, but had not been able to find any evidence of the ghost. Alex was eager to help and offered to join them on their next investigation. The group agreed, and they made plans to meet the following night. The next evening, Alex and the Midnight Watchers made their way to the mansion. They searched every room but there was no sign of the ghost. Just as they were about to give up, Alex noticed a hidden door behind a bookshelf. As they entered the hidden room, they were greeted by a strange and eerie presence. It was the ghost, and it had been hiding in the hidden room all along. The Midnight Watchers worked together to exorcise the ghost and save the town from its haunting. Alex felt a sense of accomplishment and belonging as he stood with his new friends proud to be a part of the secret society of the Midnight Watchers. Chapter 4 As time passed, Alex became more and more involved in the activities of the Midnight Watchers. He had never felt so alive, and he had made some of the best friends of his life, however. As he got deeper into the society, he began to notice something strange. One of the members, a boy named Ryan, seemed to be acting strangely. He was always on edge, and Alex could sense that something was bothering him. When Alex tried to ask him about it, Ryan brushed him off and said everything was fine. One night, the Midnight Watchers were investigating a haunted cemetery when they were suddenly ambushed by a group of dark figures. Alex was shocked to see that Ryan was leading the attack. Ryan explained that he had been working with the dark figures all along and that he had betrayed the Midnight Watchers. Alex was devastated and he couldn't believe that someone he had come to trust could do something like this. Chapter 5 The Final Battle The Midnight Watchers regrouped and prepared for the final battle. They knew that they would have to face Ryan and the dark figure's head, on, if they were to save their town from their evil plans. The night of the battle, Alex and the Midnight Watchers made their way to the abandoned mansion, where they knew the dark figures were holding their final ceremony. They faced off against Ryan and his dark allies in a fierce battle, using all the skills they had learned as members of the Midnight Watchers. In the end, the Midnight Watchers emerged victorious. Ryan was captured, and the dark figures were driven out of town. The Midnight Watchers had saved the day once again.
and Alex had proven himself as a valuable member of the secret society. Epilogue. As Alex looked back on his time as a member of the Midnight Watchers, he realized that he had grown so much as a person. He had learned to trust his instincts, work as part of a team, and stand up for what he believed in. He knew that he would never forget the adventures he had shared with the Midnight Watchers and the lifelong friends he had made. As he left the town to start a new chapter in his life, he knew that the Midnight Watchers would always be with him, and he would always be a part of their secret society.